uh, specialize um, in health and beauty products, all under the Kimaro brand name. Um, I'm actually the creative director for Kimaro. Um, we uh, basically have found this niche in the DR space where we do figure fixing fashion and all of our products are feel good, look good, at affordable prices. We um, basically, a unique story about Kimaro is that it's named after the first two letters of me and my sisters. So I'm the bro in Kimaro. <laughs> and um, we are just three uh, girls that we're very different. We're three sisters, very different in the way that we look and we'd be in the changing room looking at each other and saying, hey, I want that, and that would look better if I had that for you, from you, and, you know, and basically what came out of that is we decided to start coming up with products that um, would basically complement, you know, if, there, if you did need maybe to get more endowed in the bust area, we have a product for that. Maybe you need to slim down in the midsection, we have a product for that. And all of our products, um, you might see other products out there on the market, but they're going to cost you a lot more. We bring uh, products to real women at affordable prices, and we just want to basically saturate that market. I create a lot of the products, but we also do work with inventors. So if there is an inventor that comes to us, we do definitely do third-party products. Um, sometimes we do work with inventors, they come to us a product, and we they're looking at it one way, but we see that it would fit into a different niche, so we'll kind of tweak and, uh, you know, do some fine-tuning on it and make it a, a Kimar under the Kimaro brand. I think what makes us a leader is that we have been able to find products that just haven't been accessible to women for everyone. We find products that, you know, there's a need for them. It's a typical DR model, problem solution, but they, they've existed, but they just haven't been able, but readily available to people. And we make them at affordable prices and that people can actually get their hands on them and actually use our products. And I think they get excited about that. I've been in the business since I was a little kid because uh, I always say on Saturdays most kids would come down and watch cartoons. I was watching infomercials with my dad. <laughs> so I've been in this business forever. Um, no, it's always been like a high school job. Um, and then when I decided to finally join the workforce, um, which was about five years ago, um, I started getting coffee, you know, I worked from the bottom up and um, I really, I started to get more involved in the production side of things. I started writing scripts and we started getting hits and so my dad just gave me a little bit more responsibility <laughs> every, you know, every few months. Here you go, now try this one, now try this one. <laughs> when people bring us products, we, you know, a lot of the times it's a yes and no right there when you're talking to the inventor. We go back, we research, we, you know, we put a lot of, we are a slow moving, we're slow and steady. Being successful, it's hard, because this is a hard industry, you know, you don't know what's going to work. But if you believe in your product and you stand behind it, which, you know, that's something to say for that. I think that that will make a that will make you successful. You have to believe in that product. Don't just try and get a one hit wonder out there. You know, believe in it. We we're, we're the key, uh, we did something different. We decided to brand. We're you know we're Kimaro. All of our products come under a brand, and we want you know how people say they're wearing their Spanx. We want people to say, hey, I'm wearing my Kimaro. So you can go to Kimaro.com and. Check out all of our products and all of our PR, which is a great way to see where, where we've been and what we're doing.